Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullah to you Zaheer and to all your viewers in ITV and Ramadan Mubarak to everybody. Oh, let's see, I've been here now for almost uh, four years. Um, we came, I think, we, we didn't come to Brisbane initially. I'm only here for a year. I initially came to a little town in Tasmania, which is um, Australia's island state off the south coast. So quite a rural place. And how we ended up here, well, I think um, we wanted to travel, my husband and I. We had a young family, which made it easy for us to travel. And we wanted to experience living somewhere different. And the idea of Tasmania particularly appealed to us because it was something uh, different. It was a far-off island with striking natural beauty. And we thought it'd be a challenge and adventure. So we took the job and ended up staying there for three years. Alhamdulillah, it was a wonderful chapter. And then last year, we moved up to a big center here in Brisbane. Well, when we came first to Tasmania, we didn't know anybody there. Um, we knew there was a mosque in Tasmania, but that was in Hobart, which is the capital city, and it was a four-hour drive from where we uh, would be living. So we went there not knowing anybody, not even knowing if there would be a Muslim community in the town where we would be living. Uh, but when we got there, alhamdulillah, we were put in touch with an Iraqi doctor who worked in, this, in the hospital where my husband um, was working. And from there, he introduced us then to the Muslim community. He invited us over first one Saturday evening to a community gathering, which he and his family had established in this little town. Uh, in the community center, he would establish a gathering every Saturday night. And uh, he invited us there. And when we went over for the first time, we were pleasantly surprised that um, it was quite a jovial meeting. There were a few families there, uh, Muslims from various backgrounds, um, uh, Pakistani families, uh, Muslims from Egypt, Jordan, um, some from the UK, uh, some Australian Muslims, as well as Indonesian and Malaysian families. And uh, going there and meeting all these people and not knowing anybody else, uh, this little group became our family, our support uh, while we lived there. And uh, it was wonderful. We learned from different uh, cultures. We ate together every Saturday evenings. Um, we had to accept each other's differences because we did have differences. But as we lived and supported each other, we had to accept each other's differences. And we grew from there. And um, it was wonderful like that. Um, there were also many other challenges that we faced while we were in Tasmania, being such a little community as such. So when we first got there, for example, there was no uh, Juma Salah that was being established. And um, my husband got together with a few doctors in the hospital and they approached uh, the hospital board to give them a little room and they got together some brothers and they started to establish the Juma Salah and then that became a regular uh, event in, uh, in the town, something that hadn't been done before. So it was something new and exciting and then uh, they were granted the chapel, the use of the chapel in the hospital for use of the Juma and later they were granted um, a room in the hospital to use uh, entirely for Salah. So a little Jamaat Khana was set up in the hospital. Um, a little experiences like that made it, uh, you know, good to be in a place where you had to deal with the little challenges that came your way, things that you take for granted when you live in big Muslim communities. Uh, for example, even the issue of halal, halal meat, um, getting together on Eid day, uh, establishing the Eid congregation, all these things as a little group we, we had to try and work out while we were there. Um, in Brisbane, yes, you're right, there's a much bigger Muslim community here, quite well established. Um, I suppose not as established as the communities in South Africa, but gaining ground every day. And there's some wonderful uh, wonderful um, uh, communities here, also, also Muslims from various backgrounds. 
uh, there are many massages in the area where we live as well. And each one has a unique flavor set up by a community. Uh, uh, for example, we have the, um, the Masjid in Rochdale, which is run by the Bosnian community. And there they do things in a very uniquely Bosnian way. And it's wonderful to see and to experience also. Uh, for example, we go there for Tarawih sometimes in Ramadan. And they have beautiful recitation. They have actually a Palestinian imam and he gives a beautiful recitation of the Quran. But they do the Tarawih different in that they don't uh, recite from every Jews every night, but they recite um, different surah every night. Um, and uh, they do uh, a lot of um, a joint zikr in between the rakats of the Taraweh. And it's, it's wonderful to meet people also from that different community. And then we also go sometimes for Taraweh to the uh, Islamic College here in Brisbane, which is... Uh, a school uh, with over a thousand pupils in it and they open up their hall uh, during Ramadan to accommodate for another Taraweh and over there we have um, South African Hufad so we very much experience the Taraweh the way that it is uh, uh, conducted in South Africa because the Hufas they're all initially from South Africa or trained in South Africa so that becomes a different experience as well then there's the Holland Park Masjid in the city which is the oldest masjid in Brisbane, which was initially established by the Afghani community, I think. And they also have their own uh, unique ways of doing things. And the, the different masjids also hold uh, different community iftars, so where they invite people from the community to attend as well, and therefore opening up um, the idea of Ramadan to the wider community and to make uh, people aware of what we do in Ramadan as a Muslim community. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so here in Australia we have, uh, where I'm staying at the moment, we have a very similar climate to that in South Africa. So the temperatures are not in, ext in extreme. We are having winter at the moment. It's been quite a mild winter. Um, we have make suhoor at, uh, suhoor ends at uh, 10 past 5, uh, which is very similar, I think, to what you are going through now in South Africa. And we're having a 12-hour fast, so we have iftar also at about 10 past 5. So alhamdulillah for this year, quite a, a mild um, Ramadan in terms of the physical aspect. And um, the weather also has been wonderful uh, to help us along with the fasting. So, from what I can tell you from my experience here in Brisbane and in Tasmania itself, I have heard of incidences in other cities, maybe in Melbourne and in Sydney, where people have been maybe verbally abused or have been facing problems or in, in that sort of way, or they've been raid of, uh, like raids in the masjids and things like that. But personally, my own experience, and even from the people that I know who are living here, I haven't experienced anything in terms of... Um, abuse or discrimination or even made, made to felt that and made to feel that I was um, uh, odd or um, uh, you know haven't I've always been felt well um, been made to feel welcome even in Tasmania which is a uh, quite a rural setting so there were not many Muslims when I was there and even to see somebody with hijab on the streets was uh, a rare occurrence but I I've, I've always found the people very accepting, very open-hearted, uh, even opening their homes to us, uh, curious to know more about what we stand for. Uh, and personally, I haven't had um, any incidences of Islamophobia directed myself or my family or my friends that I know here. And there have been also a lot of efforts made by the Brisbane City Council to support uh, open mosque days that the Masajid host. Uh, also to support uh, community iftars. Also, they've uh, come out with a panf pamphlet uh, explaining um, that it's been written with Muslims in the community, uh, explaining what Islam is all about and um, um, showcasing different Muslims in the community, uh, showcasing uh, the, a the aspects of Islam, such as our uh, ability, uh, our, our love to serve community, to accept everybody, to be tolerant, to be 
a loving, peaceful people in general. Um, like that, it's been uh, quite wonderful, I think. Well, I think because I worked in the public health system in South Africa, I can say that there is a big difference uh, in the terms of health care that's offered to the general public. There's not so much of a difference between the public and private health system in Australia as there is in South Africa. Um, so health care is uh, universal for, uh, for all residents or citizens in Australia. It's free and it's a good health care system. In terms of education in South Africa, we have some very good educational institutions as well. Uh, here we do. Uh, education is also, it's, qu it's quite good in the public sector. I haven't had any uh, problems with the education in the public sector. In terms of, I think, Islamic education, there are some Islamic schools that have been established in Brisbane now. There are two in the area that I know about in Brisbane. And in terms also of, um, uh, for example, traditional madrasa for the children, there, is, there are institutions here that are now uh, offering these things for our children. And alhamdulillah, even if you want to do something like, uh, if you want to do hives or take your studies further, uh, there are now the facilities available. I think there's a lot of things in Australia that are very similar to that in South Africa. Uh, we do have a very multicultural society here, which I didn't realize before I came. And uh, there are people from various walks of life and from various countries that have come to, some of them coming from quite oppressive places to seek a better life or a more secure life here. And uh, in terms of that, we see quite, a di we meet with quite diverse groups of people here as well, as you do in South Africa as well. Oh, well, we still have a lot of family in South Africa, so I'd like to wish them uh, also a very uh, wonderful Ramadan, a, a, a wonderful and beautiful time for the rest of the Ramadan, inshallah, and uh, also to all your viewers. And um, inshallah, uh, uh, hoping to come and visit in South Africa sometime soon as well, because we do miss a lot of our friends and our family back there. And um, if anybody's coming down to, to Brisbane, you'd find a wonderfully accepting Muslim community here as well. And uh, it, it's been wonderful the one year that I've been here.